So, okay, guys, I want to break down this beautiful trade I took on Euro USD using lower time frame confirmation. And I think since I updated, let's say, the color of my chart and I start to get, I start to actually uh, uh, note every single uh, markup, every single chart modification, every single thing that happened in the market. So you guys can actually get more data on my uh, trading analysis. I was like, okay, uh, since I'm doing that, I think, let me break down my first trade after doing all those changes and get some feedback from you guys. So please tell me if you think that now you can understand better my trades and let me know everything, okay? Everything. First, I have this trade I took on EURUSD. I think this was on day nine. I'm not sure about it. I have other trades right here, other, um, and other angles of the same trade, okay? Other analysis. Okay, this one is okay it's it's not very easy to see right but it's it's a a let's say zoom out picture of what happened here we have the london session okay this is where the london session started and this is where the new york session started from london to new york you guys can see that the only thing i had in mind was trying to short here but unfortunately the price never made enough retracement actually to tap on these ones to enable me to actually short this position I followed the market a couple of minutes more, but as you guys can see, this sell-off was quite aggressive and it didn't show any pullback or didn't create enough liquidity to actually make me uh, feel, let's say, attracted to this opportunity to short the price here. The only pullback we have here was this, sh this short retracement that, of course, it was like a small retracement and then later price just used it as liquidity and came back to, you know, feel something right here. But again, I didn't saw anything here to capture the movement. Anyway, I ended up catching the trade, or better saying, a trade, just one of it, on New York session that started exactly right here, as you guys saw. That is a trade I just showed to you guys at the beginning. I think this image is better, right? I'm not quite sure yet. I don't know if this one or this one is better. I think this one, actually. Yeah, it's... I have more of space to work here. They must have a better resolution here, I think. So yeah, basically, I just showed you guys everything so you guys can understand how I ended up in this situation. This is New York session, okay? So on New York session, the first thing that came to my mind was like, okay, I want to see some push to the downside first. Why? Uh, because I need to have um, the, I, I had to low, I, I need to have, sorry, those lows captured. This is the low of the long session. So I know that there is a lot of liquidity here. And if you guys pay attention, this low it was made or it was formed when we had this huge sell off here, okay? This push to the downside here. So that's where, that's when this low was formed. And you guys can see exactly at the beginning of New York session, the New York session started where we have this vertical line here. So at the beginning of New York session, the fifth thing that New York session did was capturing the, the, the liquidity on the, on the land on low, okay? So this is the land on low, okay? And the first thing that happened here when New York session started, it was able, to, it captured all the liquidity, it grabbed all the liquidity on the land on lows, right? With that in mind, I was like, okay, now I have everything I need to actually uh, find long opportunities because we ca just captured a low. I don't show it in this image the, the long, the Asia low and highs, but at, in this image, the highs of Asia still intact, but the, the lows was all swept. Okay, so we already captured the, the uh, liquidity on, the, on, the, on Asia lows. Okay. So with this in mind, we, we have the beginning of New York session. We captured the liquidity on London lows. Now I want to find some entry opportunities. The first thing that came to my mind was this little move right here. Let's go to the other image. So this, uh, okay, on this image, we can see the movement because I think the, the other, the next image, the movement starts from here, right? Yeah, that's what we said. We have exactly right here. From here, we have this push to the downside. This push to the downside is the same thing that uh, happened. Um, is the same thing that we have here, okay? This push to the downside is what we have uh, here, okay? 
And you guys can see that this push was the push that touched on this. It's not a demand zone technically yet because the supply level is here and we never we never grab a liquidity on highs on the size of the supply level. So this is it's it's where the bullish the buyers are uh, said okay from here we want to push the price higher. They start to defend their position from here, okay? So it's not yet a demand level, but since we from here we were able to you know set this high, it become a demand level. And this is very important. This 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 question, this uh, concept is very important to 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 say to talk about it because most of you guys will see this and ask me why didn't you take the entry from here and waited to to catch the entry here because here from here we didn't have a demand level yet it become a demand level when we swept this high right here okay because this was a supply level back to the first image so this is the level from here that's what we made this huge push to the downside and you see this red circle right here this is signaling to me so i don't forget that from here i have what i have a session low in this case the new york session low okay so we have this sell off from with those red candles okay then we had a flip here because this is the is where the uh, let's say the big players right the banks join it with the most money to make price go down but for some reason other big players defend their position here right so they put even more money in the market and from here we had the opportunity to have a very very good and strong demand level format at this level but again it become demand level when we swept this high right here okay so when we swept it i'm now able to start to look for entries and the first thing that came to my mind was okay we have this uh, supply level here now price is approaching the supply level here you guys can see that i didn't took any entry when price made this retracement why because this demand level isn't uh trustworthy yet but it became when we made this push and grab all the buy side liquidity on those highs when all the liquidity on those highs was was caught was swept i was able to now okay i can trust this level and catch my entry so on this retracement i was able to now Catch my entry, you guys can see this arrow right here signaling that I took an entry here and hold it. You guys can see all the movement happening. Here we have another entry, another opportunity to scale in, but I did not. Again, liquidity formation here and here, and then price move up very, very easily, very fast actually, and hit my take profit level. Why I put my trade take profit level on those exactly right there exactly right here and from here actually price start to you know retrace i don't know if you to, if i will be able to show to you guys why here but yeah it is it is very easy to show to you guys you guys can see this level right here right so we have those highs that's what i was expecting i was like okay i want price to swap those highs and my biggest biggest fear was like once we swept these highs i'm 100 percent sure we have some liquidity here and Price may respect this level or even some fair value gap we had exactly right here. So actually price just swept these highs and then melted very, very quickly. That's why I have this position right here running. That is a short position I took today on Euro USD. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. I think so. Uh, but this position is running right now on Euro USD because it's a short position I took, taking advantage of this movement that continues. Okay, today's day. 11 this trade i took it on the 9 and the, the bearish moving the bearish movement continues till till today okay so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this new format um, of me trying to explain to you guys uh the trade breaking down the trade comment below if you guys actually enjoy it or not please it's very it's very important that you guys give me some feedback so i know if i can improve something or not or it's it's good in this way or the other way the older way was better just let me know, subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.